Can you imagine having to brush your teeth with this water? Well, millions of people do. In the 70s, this river was a tropical paradise. Now, it's a toxic soup of household rubbish, human feces and dead animals. Hundreds of textile factories line the riverbanks, supplying high street brands around the world. And although they provide vital employment for locals, lax regulations allow them to spew untreated industrial chemicals into the river unchecked. Indonesia is the second most biodiverse country on the planet, but here in the Chitaram River, the catch of the day is trash that can be sold for recycling. Sixty percent of the fish have died out, and it's not just the fish getting sick. People are already suffering with skin diseases and diarrhea, but the potentially horrifying consequences of heavy metal poisoning will take years to make themselves known. A perfect storm of industrialization, lack of infrastructure and population explosion has overwhelmed the Chitaran River. But there is hope. UN-backed plans hope to see improvements by 2023. And perhaps more significantly, locals have started to take direct action to reclaim the Chitaran River before it's too late.